Well, today's video is about motivation and inspiration, and we're gonna kind of break down how I have for years found motivation and inspiration, but today, Like, will it physically back up? It will move backwards, but I can't turn the steering wheel. Do you have power steering fluid in it? Uh, I don't know, but I can check. So pop the hood, the little reservoir. Is the car off? Yeah, the car is off. Okay. Wow, hello. Oh my gosh. Uh, guys, this is Sam, AKA Operation Sam. It's gonna be more on that later, but uh, let's get back to riding. We came a long way, that's what the song say And I could do all things, I could do all things Yeah, I could do all things, yeah, yeah We came a long way, that's what the song say And I could do all things, I could do all things I can do all things, yeah, yeah Well, today's video is about motivation and inspiration But today, I am riding mountain bikes with this guy yeah, his name is Sam, and Sam has only been riding mountain bikes for about eight months, and she's the dude is incredible. He's riding flat pedals with no bids, and if you rode a mountain bike with no bids, it's not fun. Today we're out in Uari, and we ha are doing <laughs> two laps. Yeah, that's gonna be 25 to 26 miles, and uh, man, it, he's fast. I can do all things, I can do all things, yeah, yeah. We came a long way, and that's what the song say. And I can do all things, I can do all things, I can do all things, yeah, yeah. Shout to the city that raised me, shout to the people that made me. I'm from the 80s, I don't think mumbling wavy. I grew up black on a Daisy, maybe I'm crazy. I ain't been wondering lately, feel like it's there for the taking. So let's break down how I find motivation. Well, see, I have not always been. Uh, an easily motivated guy, but I learned a few years ago how I could find motivation and inspiration in seasons where I'm not motivated. I have found that when the gap for the next level is too far away, for most people it becomes a discouragement. When it's a little too far from your reach and you cannot mentally see yourself doing it, it's almost a discouragement. Let's break down this current season because I am doing something that I never thought I would do. I am currently on a keto diet and for the last, gosh, my entire life, I have been against diets because I don't think they're sustainable and I feel like they're punishment. We're going to kind of break this down, but we're gonna call this Operation Sam. So the guy I'm riding with, his name is Sam, and Operation Sam comes from him, but it stands for Summer Ab Muscles. This summer, I want ab muscles. Now, I'm not a big guy, but my stomach is not small. It's never been small because I've never watched what I've eaten. I run and I ride my bike so that I can eat whatever the heck I want, and that's been my mindset for years but a few weeks ago in a group chat that I have with some running buddies we were going to run at a facility and the gate only opened so far and a text popped up that said I don't think Aaron's gonna be able to make it through the gate now all of these runners are legit runners it's a little dig at me and I took it as a little bit of motivation like Beaver needs to tighten up a little bit but then a friend of mine his name is Brad Rook. I talk to Brad almost every day, and back in January, he was like 220 pounds, and so he said, Beaver, I'm coming for you. He said, I'm going to weigh less than you, and I'm like, sweet. At that time, I was 178 pounds, and you're 220? Okay, that sounds good. Um, let me know when you get there, and holy crap, as I'm recording this video, he has passed me. Yes, he is down in the low 170s, a few Days ago, we were chatting, FaceTiming, and he was like, dude, check this out. That joker has abs. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? He's like, dude, it's the diet and the workout that I'm doing. And I'm like, crap. So currently at this moment, Brad Rooks, 
Sam my, and my running buddies are my motivation and my inspiration to get Operation Sam. Operation Summer Ab Muscle. I am putting it out there because I am 14 days into a keto diet, but I'm making a headway. It's weird where people find motivation and inspiration. And so what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to take and tell me where you find your motivation and inspiration. It's not necessarily just uh, for me, but it's for the other people that may watch this video. The goal with motivation and inspiration is to get you moving forward so that you can reach your goal. Wherever it is, however it is, find the inspiration that will give you the confidence to take that next step. To my friends, to the running club, she's thanks for telling me that I can't fit through the gate. And to Brad Rooks, dude, currently at this moment, you are my motivation and my driving force and I will get at and my body will look better than yours. I'm putting it out there on the web and currently you're ahead of me, but you know, we'll see. We'll see who can last. Until next time, adios. So I'm excited about the next few videos that are coming out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So look, if you've not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn the bell on because I'm going to be dropping videos very regularly. So if you like this video, I would love for you to share it. Maybe it will bring some motivation and inspiration at this current season because Lord knows we all need it.